Yeah, g'day guys, it's James here coming out here with another video here. Uh, I'm just quickly on YouTube, so I'm, my name's James Fawcett. I am a seven figure uh, affiliate marketer. And basically what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna give you probably about three points on how you can um, overcome shiny object syndrome and how you can alleviate that pressure in terms of always having to buy something, buying the next best thing. Obviously what you feel like something that you're doing now isn't working and you feel like the next best thing is gonna be the mo the magical answer to all your prayers, which is complete bullshit, by the way. And how, you know, and I wanna give you a few tips on how to assess, you know, some of the shiny objects, because it happens to everyone. And by the way, Merry Christmas, and how you can do that. So guys, if you're watching this video, please subscribe to the, by clicking the button below and subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like it and click hashtag uh, live or replay. Um, I'm looking forward to, you know, listen to what you guys have, give thoughts on this. Now, in terms of shiny object syndrome, um, you need to probably think about how you actually work and how you process, how you go about your daily day things. So, right, so basically how I do things is that, you know, I'm very big on email marketing. I'm always looking for ways to improve email marketing. So when it comes to, I can get very caught up in shiny objects <laughs> that feel like it was gonna basically levitate my next email marketing you know, journey. So, you know, I have a list of over like, probably over 100,000, 140,000 subscribers. Um, and basically what that allows me to do is like, I have a huge audience and how I, you know, mold that audience is how I, you know, how I go about my business and how I can do that. So there's so many ways in terms of email marketing products, what's the best next autoresponder, what's the next best um, way to get improve your open rates, improve your click-through rate, and I get you know sort of caught up in all the products and all that sort of stuff. So basically what I do is I sort of have to sit down and think about, okay, what's the best way, how do I work? And I jot down the pros and cons in terms of how I work and what might not work. And then what I do is that I go ahead and I assess what that new product is or what the new offer is or that service is, however, whatever, whatever that, what they're trying to sell. And I try and assess it against those pros and cons to allow me to make a better judgment um, in you know, investing in that type of service. So whether or not if it's gonna be a benefit for me, I can sort of go through it, have a look, um, and I see whether or not if it's gonna work for me. Right, so that allows you to sort of like sit down, resonate, instead of making an impulsive purchase, you're actually giving some type of thought into whether or not if, if it's for you or not. So it gives you the ability to, you know, make a well-rounded decision, informed decision, based in terms of what you're doing or what you wanna do, or even sometimes even the goals that you have set for the next six, you know, 12 months, three years, five years, however you go about it and see whether or not that offer of service is, you know, going to allow you to take where you want to go. So, because there are some things out there, like I'm not very big on Facebook or social media or anything like that. Like I've sort of started getting into it, but I haven't really done much with it. And, you know, doing, ordering a Facebook service probably isn't something that I, I want to do because, you know, I feel like sometimes, like I like to be more um, real about it. I like to be me. I like to basically, you know, be more authentic in how I come across in terms of offering advice or being present on there and whatnot. Like I'm pretty straightforward. Like if you basically, you know, give me the runaround, you're gonna really hear it from me because you know, I'll let you know. <laughs> so I, I don't, you know, I, I have a bit of a, I, you know, I have a bit of a short fuse when it comes to people, you know, basically giving me the runaround and, you know, not getting straight to the point with me in terms of what they're offering and whatnot. And when, when that happens, you know, you, you pretty much almost lost me and it probably should almost go for anyone out there as well. So if anyone's giving you the runaround on something, it's probably not worth it because obviously someone like, you know, if they can't give you a straightforward answer there and then in terms of a service they're offering, then they're not worth it. Obviously, they're not prepared to give you the time in order to give you the attention that you deserve, and that's just how that works. That's just how any game in marketing works, any product that you buy, you know, you can sort of get the term, you can sort of get it in terms of the quality that you get, 
by you know assessing how that person is you know interacting with you period so like, that's why i like to be more authentic so basically like an automated facebook sort of service won't do me any good at all because it's not how i work so um and also i've got like in terms of goals and where i want my business to go so i've started up a new coaching program so i want that coaching program to be really you know moving forward in the next 12 to you know two years like that's where i want to go like this is it's going to be my baby so what have i done in terms of it so there's a ton of boat ways out there you know to do coaching programs how to structure your coaching program and all that sort of stuff out there and then that's where i got caught up in this shiny object stuff so i've probably invested over 20 grand and i'm you not know, floating anyone but anyone's boat and i'm not saying anyone else has to do this you only do this when you get to a certain level but when you sort of like invest in that sort of thing you really got to think about whether or not that program is going to be effective for you so it goes back to saying you know obviously seeing whether it's not is that going to is this program going to teach me in terms of where i want to be in the next 12 months to 24 months and then you align that service or you align that program and how you how you work where you want to be you know um does it is the benefit going to be worth it for my business in terms of where my goals are going to be so that i think once you sort of narrow down those three core things it's going to be huge weight off your shoulders and you know it's going to save you a shit ton of money because there's a lot of programs out there that aren't refundable so once you may pull that trigger you, you're done like it's like and there's a lot of programs at the level that i'm at and they're non-refundable like you can't go ahead and, and you should never basically if you make an important decision you shouldn't ever have to get a refund or you know dispute the purchase unless you know it's a scam so you got to be real careful in terms of what you're investing in and you should know and the seller should give you the terms of what the product's all about straight up what to expect how to go about it what you're in for especially when you come into a 2000 like even like a 500 dollar tip like a coaching program you should automatically know what you're going to get in there before you pull the trigger so you know you can you've made a confident decision you, you can confidently invest the money in it because you know what's beyond the door of your purchase so and that's what it's all about so guys i hope that really is true so down below in the comments i do have a we have a breakout affiliate mastery course it's something that you know there's a video i go through it all what to expect who, who who the program will benefit who it doesn't benefit so you'll know straight away um the investment involved and yes it's not free and then obviously and, and whatnot so if you are interested in joining our breakout affiliate mastery group it's 497 currently it's going to be 997 within a few weeks and it's definitely worth jumping on uh, if you are looking to improve your email marketing game if you're looking to you know uh, generate more um, revenue using email marketing in terms of on affiliate side of things so it's it's based it's purely based on affiliate marketing um we do focus on paid traffic you do need a budget for paid traffic so i'm, I'm doing it right now I'm, I'm letting you know what it's all about straight away without even having to click that button to the next video so it sort of pretty much narrows down who it's not for and who it isn't it for so i'm basically leading by example in terms of you know cutting out any shiny objects so you don't get attracted to something that that's not going to be a fit for you all right so that's what it's all about so i'll say so if it's not for you so i've already saved your time i've saved your money you're good to go so but it is for you you know if you see a core benefit out of it then great i'd love to have you in the group it'll be you know people have we've had one guy within two weeks generate five five thousand um, dollars in profit which is really awesome uh, we've had other guys really you know smash it out straight away we've had over 20 students generated um hit 10k in one month so you know it's all about that so guys if you are interested in jumping on that band program looking forward to seeing you click the button below in the group where it says break out of your course go through watch the video see some testimonials of people you know experience some absolute wins there and we'd love to see you inside guys so anyway thanks for watching the video don't forget to click subscribe in the button on youtube uh, or leave a hashtag replay and i look forward to you guys jumping on
Cheers, guys.